Hello and welcome to uh, another YouTube tutorial. I just wanted to make this video because, well, I noticed that some people don't know how to edit videos for free. They think that you have to... If, if you want to do it for free, you have to sacrifice and uh, you'll, you'll get a watermark over your video and that's not true at all. If, if, you've, if you want to record or um, edit your videos for free, you don't actually need a watermark, especially if you're just cutting and joining and doing all sorts of different things with audio. So I recorded two videos here, samplers. I'm going to show you guys how to cut things, how to join videos together, hopefully do some different things. Maybe I'll help you with this and uh, keep you away from those uh, terrible editing softwares like Femora that force you to have a big giant advertisement watermark over your video that just looks absolutely terrible. I hate Filmora with a passion. They charge so much money for, for a Filmora. I mean, from, from what I've seen, it looks like a good software, but it's way too expensive and their free trial version puts a huge watermark over your video and I hate Filmora for that. I don't want to even associate with my associate myself with Filmora. Don't get Filmora. Don't download the free trial version, just ignore them. For recording this video, I am using Bandicam. Bandicam is a great thing. Um, a while back, my, my uh, father got a uh, bundle from the Bandicam website. It got Bandicam and Bandicut, both great apps to use for editing and recording videos. Um, let's see, Bandicam. So you can get Bandicam and Bandicut for $60.95. It's a good package to have because Bandicut allows you to cut videos and join them. I think it also allows you to do some other things as well. And it does it pretty quickly too. Um, but this video, I am going to be showing you how to do this stuff for free. It's going to be a little bit longer. Uh, so, let's go ahead and start with... Um, Alright, so... For this method to actually work, you have to be on Windows. Uh, I'm not even going to bother going over Mac and Linux because I am not really familiar with those two operating systems. So this tutorial is for Windows. And I will try and make that as clear as possible in title and description. Uh, so if you're a Mac user or an OS user, you can still use some of these methods, but the majority is going to be not working. So, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to open up the video. Uh, you're going to open up the video, you're going to right click it, you can open up with photos. Right, all that stuff. And then you're gonna go up here, top right hand corner. It says edit and create. 
and share and then there's that print button that's for photos and, and there's also this three thing down here what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna do edit I'm gonna click trim Really haven't tried that before. Haven't tried this before. Okay, so what you can do if you if you really wanted to, you could trim it. Okay, so what you could do is you can cut it here, you can cut it there, right, and then you can cut it here, and then you have uh, it skipping from here all the way to here, and then all you have to do is join them together. Um, and I'll show you how to join stuff together in a, in a bit, but cutting it is pretty pretty easy. All you really have to do is, uh, when it was in the cut thing, is um, select the point that you wanted to cut, press save as, and then select the second point you want to cut, press save as, and that'll be fine. Um, then all we have to do is um, join them. But I'll show you how to join the videos in a moment. I want to keep this as quickly as possible. Um, let's say something is here that you don't really want people to see. Actually. something. Okay. I don't want people to see this. So I'm going to go right before it. I'm going to remember where it is. spawn that in and I'm gonna put it right here then I'm gonna press play okay. fucking hell Hold on, I have wanted to get to the point. Okay, there we go. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna drag that to there. I'm gonna make it bigger too. Okay. So, let's show you the end product of, you know, the sensor.
you get the point. <laughs> really dumb but you you get what I was trying to show you um, if you want to censor something you can use these 3d effects my favorite is using the breaking news one because it blocks it and it also animates and, and the animation of it coming in looks pretty decent only problem is as far as I can tell once you press save a copy Okay, um, never mind that. Okay, so, um, what I was saying, oh, what I, what I thought was once you clicked off or quick to, clicked away from, from the 3D effect that you couldn't change anything else about it, but I was wrong about that. So, um, that's how to censor things. Now, I'm going to tell you how to, I'm going to show you how to join videos for free so i kind of messed up here um so pretty much the rest of this video is kind of irrelevant i'm gonna keep it in just because but um I wanted to make it clear that you can split videos, you can join videos, and you can put in text in videos as well as a bunch of other different things in videos with the, the a video editor that comes standard with Windows 10. Um, I, I wanted to make this clear, so what you have to do... Um, open up the video you're gonna right click it you're gonna go to open windows and you're gonna go to photos but yeah. hello that happens and then you go to edit and create and then you go to this one here create a video of text and then it will bring up this and then you can uh, for splitting all you have to do is press split and then it will split them into the uh, two videos uh, It'll show you exactly um, how much is the first video and how much is the second one. So for this example, clip one will be 9 minutes 47 seconds and 53 milliseconds. And clip two will be 8 minutes 24 seconds and 83 milliseconds. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to press cancel. And then if you want to join a video, what you do is you if you, you click here and then you do from my PC or whatever, then you can click on whatever video you want to add and then just drag it down here just like that and you know add it like that. Um, I just wanted to make that clear. Uh, right here I have uh, three title cards. Um, if, if you want to, you can add your own background music as well. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, you can add your own background music as well. I'm not exactly sure. I don't think this is a any... Um, I, I'm not sure if these are... Um, royalty free, so... Be careful adding videos, uh, adding music, but you can add your own custom audio. So if you, if you record your microphone separate from, um, your videos, first off, you're going to want to have a sync up. You can do this many different ways. You can, you know, just, just get creative with it, you know? Click here, A, A, B, C, D, E. That will probably be enough to sync. 
and then you can do different things with it. I, I don't know, but mess around with it. Windows uh, uh, video editor that comes standard with Windows 10 is a great program to use um, and it seems to be the best program to use. I don't think... Yeah, okay, so the 3D objects thing is different from the video editor. So, um, if you want to do the 3D objects thing and uh, censor something, you do that first and then you can do splitting and cutting here. After that, do whatever you need to. Um, yeah, with that, back to the video. So I'm gonna go off that. I'm gonna go to here. I believe there is a way to yeah, merge right there. This is a great website to go to, easygif.com. It's great for editing videos, video editors. I believe YouTube has its own video editor that you can use. I know that YouTube has its own video editor that you can use to um, edit videos. Just can't remember how to do it. You kind of have to wait for stuff to upload. So I'm just gonna go to this video. Click on editor. So yeah, after after you finish um, uploading the video, you can just go to editor, and then you can actually do a bunch of different things here within the YouTube app. Um, definitely is a good choice to use. Probably the best choice to use, unless you need to do some blurring and stuff like that, or or not blurring, but you know, censoring. You can you can use the, the default photos app, but with this you can easily trim things and you can add things too, I think. You might be able to cut things together. Maybe it is just Oh, look at this, you can blur parts of your videos through here too. I don't think you can cut things together, sadly, through here, so we have to figure out something else to cut things. Hold on, give me a second. Okay, so from a, a, a quick Google search, I searched video joiner free, and the first thing that popped up here was freevideojoiner.com. <laughs> So I'm going to download this. It's going to download it and can save it to that folder. I'm going to open it. I'm going to press run. Yes. Next. Accept. Next. 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 I don't want it to create one. Uh, stumble. Launch. I mean, it looks like a pretty good and safe uh, program to use. I mean, I've never heard of it. I'm pretty much just downloading it blindly, which probably isn't the smartest thing to do, but I'm gonna do it anyways. <laughs> um, let's see, how does this work?
Can I just drag and drop? No. Okay. Nope, that's not it. Paste. I'm gonna open up my first video. I'm also gonna add my second video. I'm gonna choose MP4, but you can choose whatever you want, really. PSP, DVD, phone, iPhone. Does an iPhone record an MP4? MOV, ABI, iPod, <laughs> iPod. Okay, I'm gonna make a new folder here so we can kind of differentiate and uh, differentiate you know, whatever that word is. Output. I'm just gonna name it as output. Then go here, select output, and then click join. Don't know how long this is going to take. The, the two videos that I'm joining, one of them is 56, 58 minutes, somewhere around there, and the other one is like 24 minutes long, so I'd expect this to take a pretty long time. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this uh, recording until then. While that uh, video joiner is running in the background here, I'm going to show you guys something else that could make your um, YouTube videos a bit better. It's called Penzoid.com. Penzoid? Yeah, Penzoid.com. Uh, slash, well, actually, it's just Penzoid.com. I went to the creations just to uh, kind of show you what around and, you know it's very easy to figure out how to you, you can make your own by uploading different things and messing around with it I just decided to use other people's creations uh, I, I opened up a couple here they had uh, these two set as name all you have to do is click on it and then click here uh, you can just click once and then do control plus a and then type in whatever you want and then you have to press enter before leaving or else it won't work this button puts you in the camera you know so, uh, it has music, but I'm gonna mute the music. As you can see, it looks good, right? <laughs> Alright, and then other ones are... It has all sorts of different ones that you can use for, for streaming, or for uh, intros and outros. This one, for example, actually said um, stream starting, but I changed it to my name instead. You can really do whatever you need. Uh, here's another one. I like how this one looks a lot. It looks like a good intro. Uh, and then here's the last one. This one actually said Netflix before, and I actually like this one. <laughs> so let's play it.
it's a it's an intro so if, if, if you want to use these for your videos or, or, or whatnot then uh, make it how you want add whatever music you want or you can add some effects here too there, there's a bunch of different effects just mess around with it you'll you'll figure out how to do something uh, different cameras and different camera paths and all sorts of different things and music here uh, scene all the the basic settings like video resolution I'm gonna keep it at 10k or, or, or 1920 by 1080p and 1080p yeah 1920 at 1080p That one will work just fine, but you can obviously do um, 2K and 4K. It'll just take a little bit longer to uh, download. Uh, change the video frame rate to 30 or 60. I'm just going to leave it as is. And then you can also change the length here. Then here you can just look at the... Look at some of the other people other people's creations you can click here and it'll bring you to this page actually it will bring you to this page here but i have it at top and then download it or actually what's this yeah okay uh, so to download it all you want to do is you want to click here and then you can change what format it is you can make it MP mkv or webm doesn't really matter and then you can press start I'm gonna press allow and then it'll process it it looks like it only has two minutes left and uh, I, I don't really care for this so I'm just gonna press cancel but that's basically actually I want to show you guys how to download it so after it finishes rendering I'll, I'll bring it back Okay, so it's it, it's finally finished uh, rendering. All you're going to want to do is press this download video button. It'll do that and then you can download and save the video and then you can use the joiner if you want to, to put it in the, the right order. It has to be the first video. It works great. Uh, I'll, I'll um, let you guys know when this is finished uh, with the uh, converting or with the uh, joining. What I decided to do instead was um, not do the the two long videos and i just chose two short videos on my computer and i'm gonna use those two videos instead as an example so uh, i'll let you know when it's done all right it looks like it's done it says that right there i think it's done so i'm gonna go back to the output video or output folder. Refresh. Refresh. Oh, it should be done, shouldn't it? The hell? Oh. Right, okay. So apparently I didn't select that. So here's the output video. That's the output video, uh, so I can tell you that it didn't, um, 
go down in quality, which is really good. Um, the first part was taken with the, um, uh, I can't remember what the model is, but it's a, um, Kodak, uh, camera. It's a professional grade Kodak camera, uh, for photography. Um, it's a pretty good camera. And then the, the second video was taken with an iPhone 6S Plus. So the, the, the quality is still there. Just keep in mind that if you want to join two long videos together, you're going to be waiting a while. But this does seem to be a good uh, choice to use. Um, so that goes with that, and then here's the, the blur. Rectangle, and you can blur certain parts, which is, uh, comes in handy as well. But I don't need to. I don't need to do that. I don't need to change this video up at all. Uh, but that's basically it. This is a little bit of a longer video. Um, I'm going to be doing some cutting with Bandicut. And um, hopefully you learned how to edit videos without the, the, the watermark. And you can stay away from that terrible company known as Femora. Don't even go near Femora. Seriously. And if you have Femora, uninstall that from your computer. Completely purge the files from your computer. Just, just do everything you can to get away from Femora, because Femora sucks. Seriously. So, um, hopefully you, hopefully this video helped you out a lot. If it did, uh, please feel free to leave a like, maybe even subscribe. Um, if it didn't, go down to the comments and tell me why it didn't help you. Um, hopefully I can get this under 20 minutes, as you can see right there, it's, it's 32 minutes, 17 seconds. Uh, but hopefully with some editing I can get it down to maybe 20 minutes. Maybe 15. I'm trying to, I'm gonna try and get it as, um, small as possible with Bandicut. Um, yeah, so, um, thank you so much for watching this video, if, yeah, I already said all that stuff. Um, have a nice day, night, evening, whatever. Bye.